Good afternoon and welcome to St. Eugene School News. This is Karen McGonigal, your anchor. Today is Friday, May 20th, 2016. The news team has a few news items to share about events and activities. Here is our top story. The 8th grade class went to Baltimore on Monday, as the 8th grade class does every year. They visited the Orioles Baseball Park and ate lunch at Bubba Gump. They went to an aquarium and even went on a boat ride. To end up their day, they had some free time and had some dinner as well. Overall, the 8th grade had a blast, and we 7th graders can't wait for this trip next year. And now, here's Ethan Tran. This is Ethan Tran reporting. Student Council has been working on an activity for the whole school, Kindness for Kickball. Students had to get three kindness points to participate in the kickball game. Kindness points were earned by getting caught doing random acts of kindness for others. The kickball game will be on Friday, June 3rd, and hopefully it won't rain that day. And now, here's Rachel Swilisky. This is Rachel Swilisky reporting. Grady and for a walk outside to take photographs of this young sick and this freedom. The class watched a video to learn some tips on photography. Then, they walked out to the field, down by the driveway between the rectory and the church, and across the parking lot. At each stop, it took a little while to snap some pictures. After that, they all went inside to collect their favorite photo and edit with as different as needed. They were emailed to the lab to be framed and mounted. All of them will be displayed next week at our show, so be sure to look for them. And now, here's Chris Aaron. This is Chris and Aaron reporting. Grade 5 went to an anti bullying day on Monday at Bonner Friendly High School. This is when fifth graders from local schools with the Bonner Friendly to participate in fun activities that teach them how important it is to stop bullying. The school provided a nice lunch for the students and received a bright yellow anti bullying shirt. The fifth graders had a great time and are lucky to be able to participate <coughs> in such a great project. And now there's Arlene Secure. This is Arlene Zubara report. The sixth graders are working on writing scripts and filming public service announcements. They're using the green screen and the green screen app on the iPads for the first time. Members of each group learned how to use the app. They are using the tripod for the iPad so that all tripod for the iPad so that all members of the group can be able to. They are editing and publishing to YouTube using iMovie. This is the first video completed by Scott Alonzo and Max. About 7.6 million animals are abused each year. Most animals that are abused die. It's not right to hurt animals. Animals have feelings too. Would you want to be hurt? Think about what you do to animals or your new house would be a jail center. Thousands of greyhounds die each year. Some in the name of selective breeding before they even reach the racetrack. Many retire at the age of 4 or 5. This is because of animal abuse. Dogfighting became privileged to the U.S. after the Civil War, with the professional pits proliferating in the 1860s, and it was an immediate emergency to the police and the firefighters. We are the students of St. Eugene School, and we approve this. And now here's Chilea Deli for sports. This is Chilea Deli with sports. Tomorrow, the areas for the track team are Cardinal Heron High School. Track runners last week qualified for the areas by placing in the set position in the regionals. Good luck to everyone. Also, tonight, St. Eugene is hosting a 5K run and walk at 6 p.m. Come out and support our school. You can sign up tonight at 5. Admission is $30. There's an after-race party at St. Eugene. Here's Claire McLean with the weather. Today, there are sunshine, sunshine with clouds. The high of today is 78. There will be lots of rain on Saturday and some on Sunday. The high will be 60. Have a great weekend, everybody. This is Ryan McGonagall reporting. Tonight is the last. Tonight is the St. Eugene School 5K mile run, kids run. If your family did not register, you can come out at five to sign up. The run begins at six. Hope to see everyone tonight. I also have a special report today. The annual St. Eugene School Fine Arts Festival and School Show will be next week on Tuesday. Miss Perito is busy mounting art to be featured in the show. Here are Kayla Taglahari in kindergarten, Colin McGlency in grade one, and Bryn MacDonald in grade two, showcasing their art. This is Kayla. This is my self-portrait. I like it because it is pretty. Hi, my name is Colin McGlency. This is my bubblegum machine from art class. My favorite part about it 
is that I made bubble gums that didn't exist in real life. Hi, my name is Brandon. In my artwork, I made a mom cat, a sister cat, and a baby kitten. Thank you, Kayla, Colin, and Brent. And now back to Kerry. We have a special guest, Crystal Wright, with birthday wishes. This is Crystal Wright with birthdays. Happy birthday to Tor Tori McCormick in grade 8, Clara Miller in grade 1, and Kayla Col Coleman in kindergarten. We would also like to continue summer birthdays with the second half of August. Happy birthday to Mia Strong in grade 8, Aiden Boylan, Papa Decor, Francis Evans, and Alonzo Clark in grade 6, Micah Acampato in grade 4, Malia Dubois, Zoya Riker, and Phantom Bombardo in grade 3, Brett Florian in grade 2, and Juliana, Juliana Manier in grade 1. And now back to Carrie. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our producer, Haley Delvarello. The news team will take a break to enjoy Spirit Day. We hope you do too. We'll be back for our last newscast on Friday, June 3rd. This is Carrie McGonigal for the SES News Team. Thank <laughs> you.